Until recently, things like this were considered jokes. The person behind the wrestling video tweeted by President Trump, who's seen tackling a man with a Photoshop CNN logo, has apologized. But now, memes have become politicians' greatest enemies. Anything the media doesn't like, or doesn't want you to see or learn about, is now considered a doctored video. Ooh, scary. Remember when CNN doxed the person that made the Trump CNN meme? But the story behind that apology has sparked new criticism of CNN. The network saying the video endangers journalists tracked down its creator. His screen name a crude takeoff on a Star Wars character who first posted it on the online message board Reddit. Now other media outlets are quickly trying to smear and dox another man for daring to show a video of Nancy Pelosi with her speech slowed down which he says he didn't even make. We want to give this president the opportunity to do something historic for our country. We want to give this president the opportunity. Meanwhile, at Illuminati headquarters, the word meme doesn't sound mischievous or devious enough. I think we should go with doctored video. That sounds a lot more evil. Here, let me help. Doctored photograph. Illegal, manipulated, copyright infringing image. That's a lot better. I'm sure you've heard of Article 13, which is the EU trying to ban memes on the grounds of copyright infringement. You should totally believe them. Luckily here in Canada, we don't have to worry about getting doxxed for making memes about our political leaders, because they make them for us. What do you and your family do to cut back on plastics? Uh, we uh, uh, we have uh, recently switched to drinking uh, water bottles out of uh, water out of uh, when we have water bottles uh, out of a uh, plastic uh, sorry away from plastic towards uh, paper um, like drink box water bottles sort of things. I promise you that video is not edited. Really, it's not. Instead of just saying that they use less bottles or cut back on plastic or even just try to recycle as much as possible, the prime minister wanted to give us a gift. A gift of a new meme, even though we have so many to choose from already. How could it not have occurred to you that that might not have been okay? No, the fact is, we work... Uh, the, uh, sorry, let me just try to reorder, reorder the thoughts. We um, worked with uh, the, the uh, uh, lobby... Doctored videos, make it all stop, please! In 2008, the Prime Minister co-authored an op-ed that made an argument against bottled water. Unfortunately for the Prime Minister, that means he and his family are going to have to start cutting back on the $300 a month they spend on bottled water. See here, the Trudeau family in just one month, according to their own expense claims, spent over $300 on bottled water. That's why they want to ban memes and people and pretty much everything you love. Anything that they don't like or they disagree with has to be wiped away from the internet and from existence forever. Because reality is a whole lot harder to deal with than fantasy land. If you disagree with them or stray from the cult even a little bit, they want to destroy you and make sure no one ever listens to you again. And then there's me. I don't care what you do. Buy the next thing. Go to the next march. Follow the next trend. Just please, don't force me to like it. I'm surprised girls aren't hip to those fucking glasses that come up like this yet. They just like the real big ones because it's more of a thing. But you mark my fucking words, girls are going to be wearing those fucking in... By next summer. I'll... Uh, you know what? By the end of this summer. I'm going to put it out there. Girls are going to be wearing those flip-up glasses that fucking Corey Haim used to wear.